Ever since my first video, I have fallen into a rabbit hole of some of the strangest Stray Kids fanfictions ever written. And I mean the fanfictions, not the band itself. I still don't really know anything about them. And honestly, the biggest reason I made this video is because I really enjoyed the character designs I came up with each of the members, even though I'm 100% sure they look nothing like how I drew them in real life. But I thought it would be a shame if I never used the designs ever again, so whatever, here are some more cursed stories. As usual, sorry in advance for portraying these people differently from how they actually are, blah blah blah. Wyan is from Australia and lived there with her brother Suga from BTS? God damn! When Wyan was young, Suga went to become a trainee under Hype Entertainment. Wyan followed his footsteps but went under the label JYP in case of scandals. What scandals could there possibly be if two siblings entered the same company? Not dating scandals, I hope. She moved to Korea all alone since her brother was busy being a K-pop idol and mostly got raised by Leah. Wyan didn't really know English when she moved there, so Leah helped her a lot. Thanks, Leah! Wait, don't you mean Korean? Wyan got really close to Felix since they were both Aussies and didn't know English. Felix is an Aussie? Oi, mate, yeah, fuck you, mate, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, Now they have learned it in a short time matter, and Wyan got very close to Lee. No, before they debuted. But she had her eyes on one guy who she really liked. Okay, editing me here. I just wanted to point out that Lee No is actually his name and is the same person as Minho. Also, anytime there's a Jisung in the story, it's Han. God, that took me forever to realize. JYP entered the room of us after we were all able to debut. I thought JYP was a company. Every time he came in, we would all get nervous. Hello everyone, he said walking in. I just wanted to tell everyone their positions in their groups. He gave everyone theirs, and now it's Wyan's turn. Wyan, I'm very impressed on how well you did. I never gave this many positions to one person, but here are yours. You will be the maid rapper, lead vocalist, and lead dancer. Everyone clapped and was very happy for Wyan. Wyan POV. What? How did I get three positions? Dude, that's my line. I felt somebody tap my back. I turned around and saw Felix. Time to pull out my Felix voice from last time. Congrats, Wyan! We are both dancers and rappers. Well, and you a vocalist. I'm so proud of you, he said as he hugged me. Aw, thank you, Felix. It means a lot, I said hugging him back. Let's go record our songs, Felix said as he grabbed my hand. Next day, I woke up to the sound of my alarm clock. I shared a door with Taeryoung. I hit her with my pillow playfully. It's time for hell, school, I said, walking to the bathroom to wash up. Most of us still went to school. Chan, Lino, and Yeji don't since they graduated. I walked to school with Felix, Yuna, and Han since we needed to all study before this test. Oh my god, are they actually in high school? I just thought they were called straight kids for fun, not because they were real kids. We walked and we saw Hyunjin there. When was he there? He is usually late? Hey Hyunjin, what are you doing here so early? asked Yuna. Oh, uh, I put my alarm clock too early, so I just thought I would come to school early, he replied. My phone buzzed, and when I opened it, my mouth went straight open. What is it? asked Han. The test got cancelled since the teacher isn't here! I yelled so happy. Possibly the best news ever. Even better than getting three positions in your group. Hyunjin POV Seeing Wyatt so happy and jump up and down made me blush. She was really cute, and since she was the Makne, she was very childish in a good way. We all walked to the lockers, and I just followed Wyan to hers. The two hang around their lockers for a bit until... I saw a boy coming here. It was Kai, Wyan's boyfriend. Kai? From EXO? What are you doing in a high school, Grandpa? Damn, I forgot all about him. Hey, baby, he said to her, kissing her forehead. Hey, love, she said, fixing her hair. I couldn't help but get jealous. I left the scene and went over to Felix. Sumi POV It's the day of school. Well, the start of my new school here in Korea. I'm from Australia. She's an Aussie too? What a coincidence. My Korean is not very good yet, so I will be going to school specialized in learning Korean and English. 
I'm in the office now waiting to get my schedule printed, so I know where my classes are. As the lady is finishing up printing, the bell rings. Don't worry, it's your first day. It won't be on your record. Don't worry either about where to find your classes. We have the sweetest boy coming to show you around, she said. Sweetest boy? Yeah, I wonder who that could be. The office door opens. Oh my god, sorry I'm late, he says with a strong Aussie accent. Just in time, Felix. Here, this is Kim Sumi. She's from Australia and speaks more English than Korean, she says. Wow, another Aussie at the school, finally, he chuckles. Is there not any here, I ask. Nope, I was the only one being made fun of, but it's okay, I won't let that happen to you, he says as I smile. Huh? Do people bully Aussies in real life or do I just live under a rock? What even is there to make fun of them for? <laughs> yeah, that's heaps cute. That's funny ass. I walked in and see everyone staring. I give a warm welcome to everyone, but one person doesn't not look very interested. A boy with dark hair. Actually, in this story, he will have blonde hair. 안녕하세요, Kim Sumi, the teacher said. Sumi, there's a seat available right there next to Hyunjin. Hyunjin, raise your hand, please, the teacher says. The blonde hair boy raises his hand forcefully with an annoyed look on his face. I walked over. I walk closer to my desk, but a boy's foot is in my way. Excuse me, can please move a little? I ask. He looks at me with darkened eyes. Find your way around it, he says. I just leap over it to get to my seat. Oh, well, I'm shaking in my jorts. The main character is goddamn Spider-Man. I'm tapped on the shoulder. I turn to see the other boy who is sitting next to me. Hi, my name is also Kim. Kim Sung Min, he smiles. And I'm Hwang Yeji, says the girl in front of Sung Min. Don't mind my brother, he's a jerk, she said speaking about Hyunjin. What the hell is up with Hyunjin's personality doing a complete 180 compared to the last story? Like, this ain't Hyunjin, this is Hyunjin. Class ends. Me and Felix walk into English class not knowing that we are way too early and no one is in the class. Let's just stay here until class starts, he says as he walks to his seat and motions for me to sit in the seat next to him, so I do. I feel someone standing next to me. This is my seat, get off, he says. When I look up and see, it's Hyunjin. Hyunjin, this isn't even your seat, says Felix. What if I want a new seat, says Hyunjin. Move, bitch, he says. Stop, Hyunjin, don't be a bitch to her, says Felix when I feel my body hit the floor really hard. Hyunjin had flipped the desk over and threw me off it. Where are your parents? What is up with these rude entitled asshole kids? Scary little shits. I look up and see Felix and Hyunjin holding each other by the shirt. Call me a bitch one more time and you'll end up like last time, says Hyunjin, gritting his teeth. You're an effing asshole, Hyunjin. She did nothing to you, says Felix as he stops and runs over to me. Sumi, you're hurt. Um, Yuri, it's cut. Oh my god, doing his voice is gonna be the end of me. He says while just grabbing me and carrying me out the class as the students were starting to flood in. Felix just ran and ran and all I can see because my vision was blurry. Okay, I understand that this is supposed to be a Hyunjin fanfiction. But why, 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 why is the love interest such a douchebag? Like, Felix is right there. Why can't you just go to him instead? What's with you and Hyunjin, I ask. Oh, um, it's complicated, he says. Tell me what happened, I said. We used to be best friends, but things just happened. Hyunjin changed as a person and acted totally cold to everyone. He started to hate me, then he made me get jumped by a group of guys from the all boys school, he says. Wow, I'm sorry, Felix, I say. It's okay, I just don't want the same to happen to you, so I'll try my best to protect you, he says. See, what did I say? Just say Felix instead, especially after what Hyunjin did to my boy. So one thing I notice is that the group is split into two categories, the losers and the a-holes. And obviously Hyunjin is in the a-hole group because later on in the story, he goddamn Sasuke chokes us against the lockers and threatens us. Don't you dare tell Felix, he can't do anything. He says walking away. Jian quickly ran across the street after looking both ways and pulled out his $10. He was hoping his favorite cashier Jihyo was there or the store owner Lisa. He walked past the ATM machine and pulled open the door which made the little bell go off. He looked past the counter but no one was there. La Lisa, do you not greet customers now? A grin made its way onto Jungin's face as he peeked behind the counter. I was, ah, who in the hell are you? 
Jungin screamed as the man with blonde, ahem, <clears throat> electric blue hair and curious brown eyes looked back at him. The blue hair guy looked unfazed and sighed. The unknown boy then rolled his eyes. Jungin huffed and walked fully behind the counter. You know, back here is only for staff, right? The male stated snobbishly. Uh, yeah. Family friend owns the store, though. Thought she was on shift, Jungin replied without much emotion. The unknown boy looked up awkwardly and then smiled at Jungin. Ah, sorry, where are my manners? I'm a new worker. The boy smiled hard with dimples. He didn't look much older than Jungin. Maybe 17 or 18. At least, that's what Jungin was hoping. Please, God, don't let him be 18. I need him to be older for my dignity's sake. I'm Chud, by the way. He smiled with dimples again. Uh, oh, I'm Jungin. Sorry. Jungin cringed. Why was he so tongue-tied? Chan smiled softly at the shorter boy. Jungin finally grabbed his M&Ms and shoved them in his pocket. He smiled at the cashier, said goodbye, and rushed out of the store. Chan smiled. He knew he had an effect on the younger. Who knew his new job would be so... fun. I groaned as I listened to Chae Young try to hit high notes in the karaoke box. Chae, I think we've had enough singing for today. I grumbled as I pulled the mic from her hands. She pinched my cheeks. Come on, you've barely sung at all today. Pick at least one song and then we'll go home. I was getting into the pre-chorus when I heard laughter coming from the door. I turned to see what the commotion was. Fuck me. There stood my older brother, Ji Sung, and his group of friends grinning at me. Yeah, who do you think you are by coming here just like that? Easy, Jiyun. The boys and I already had plans to hang with some girls we met at the neighboring school. Don't get your panties in a twist. He's the type of guy you call sir. It's okay, Jiyun is great at singing. You should hear her. She tried to ease the tension. A tall, long-haired blonde chuckled. Oh, we've heard her singing since the song started. I have to say, she was pretty good. A boy with freckles. He's an angel. He's an angel sent from heaven to my main man, Felix. Was interrupted by another boy who bore an uninterested expression. You called that singing? Even my three cats could scream better than that. His friend, ooh. Upon hearing that stark comment, I walked up to his face. You think you can do better? He nodded smugly. Prove it then, bitch. He was about to say something rude when the boys with freckles intervened. Stop it, y'all. She didn't do anything to you. Next day, class time. I sat next to Che in the second last row. Che whispered, Hey, Jun, isn't your brother in class 104 too? Yeah, he slept at 4 a.m. last night, so he'll be a little late. Five minutes into attendance taking, Ji Sung and three other guys walked in. I recognized a freckled boy as well as a stunning blonde. Another boy caught my eyes. What the hell is he doing here? I hissed at Cheryong. She looked equally surprised. Ji Sung saw me at the back of the classroom, gave me a grin, and sat near me. The other boys followed suit, one sitting next to Chae Ryong and the other in front of Ji Sung. There was still a seat behind me and I prayed so hard that Nido wouldn't choose it. Lee Min Ho, please choose a seat. I have a lesson to teach. The teacher demanded. Nido gave up and popped his butt behind me. If my theory is correct, then the guy on the cover is probably Min Ho. If so, then for God's sakes, overlook his personality. Just look at him, bruh. <laughs> After school. Hey, welcome to Jute Cafe! An adorable voice greeted at the cashier. I smiled at him. Hi! Changbin, I looked at the name tag. I'll get a cafe latte and an iced Americano. Changbin gave a friendly smile and told an employee to take our order. Just then, Minho and Hyunjin walked into the cafe. K gave me incredulous eyes. No effing way. Hey yo, what's up, Matryoshka? Minho cheekily sauntered to Changbin. Do you know each other? I stared as Mino gave Changbin a hard slap on the butt. I was working until late on the convenience door listening to my fave band Stray Kids when I suddenly heard the door open. I didn't pay much attention because I was busy thinking of what I could have for dinner. Soon after that, I felt a little poke on my cheek so I... <gasps> Good heavens, have mercy on my poor soul and please use some punctuations. I was watching for the 134th time Stray Kids Kingdom performance and replayed when Chan got on the string because Chan, my favorite grandpa, and also my bias. Yeah? Your performance was so good, eh? Did it go something like this?
Hey baby girl, I know you've been waiting. Sorry. Don't be a bubble. You fool. Cause we're cool. Hey there, my Korean girl, huh? Come get inside my car. Oh, you look so yabba I could be your oppa. After finishing the work he assigned to us, I grabbed my sketchbook and started doodling. This time, I was trying some of the Stray Kids members I was a fan of for a while. Their music was just perfect. Hyunjin, Felix, and Lino's dancing is just perfect. Bang Chen and Han are perfect. Chingmin's rap is legendary. Ian is the perfect Maknet. And Seungmin? Seungmin is angelic. I mean, his vocals are perfect. His dance is on point. He is my ultimate bias of all K-pop. I said it before, but my favorite is Hong Jun. But since we are picking favorites, I'll say that my favorite Stray Kids member is Hong Jun because he's a gamer. I made Ness on Smash. Oh, ew. But apparently, he's not even a part of the Stray Kids. So I spent hours trying to figure out if I had just imagined him or if I was crushing on a ghost member or something. The girls started giggling and talking about their biases, to which I kept silent because I just wanted to listen. Yejun talked about how she loved Bang Chen. Who doesn't? He's the best leader ever! And Sojin says Hyunjun is her bias. He's great and all, but like, he just isn't Sungmin. They turned to me. What about you, Yen? Who is your bias? Sungmin, he is funny and perfect in every way. I replied, seriously, Sungmin? Of all eight members and you choose Sungmin, he hasn't even got abs, Yejun says. Hey, you assholes, put some respect on his name. Screw you guys, Seungmin is my favorite now. This bitch just offended Seungmin. It's not like Bang Chen actually shows them. Plus, Seungmin is the least biased but by far the funniest and savage to the max. Who needs abs when you have a sense of humor? No offense, Chris. Who's Chris? This guy? Now that this is the second video I made of Stray Kids, these are my assumptions about them through reading dozens of fanfics. Feel free to correct in comments.